Let us consider an example. A company issued a prospectus inviting the public to subscribe to its issue of 10,000 9% debentures of 100 each. Past journal entries assuming that the issue was fully subscribed. Money received. Bank account debit 10,000 debentures into rupees 100, that is 10 lakhs. 2. 9%. Debenture. We normally, just like in the case of shares, we normally say to debenture application. And on allotment of the debentures, say debenture application account debit to debentures. That is 10 lakhs. Let us consider another example. A company issued a prospectus inviting the public to subscribe to its issue of 50,000 debentures of rupees 100 each. So we are talking of 50 lakhs. They were issued at a premium of 5%. Applications for 60,000 debentures were received. Excess money was refunded and passed journal entries. So what would be the entry? First, we would receive money. Normally, when we receive money, we put it in the debenture application account. And when the applications are gone through and debentures are allotted, we will transfer the application money to debentures account. So let us see. What is the entry? First entry is bank account debit. Two, we shall call this debenture application account and what is the amount here it should be 60,000 debentures into 100 is the face value 5 percent so into 105 that should be 63 lakhs to debenture application account is 63 lakhs this is your first entry next on allotment of 50,000 debentures, what would be the entry for that? We would say debenture application account debit to debentures. Debentures would be credited with the face value. How much is the face value here? We are talking of 50,000 debentures of rupees 100 each. That is 50 lakhs. 2. Securities premium. What is the amount of securities premium? It is number of debentures allotted 50,000 into 5 giving us 2,50,000. So debenture application account is debited with 52,50,000. The remaining amount lying in the debenture application is refunded. Debenture application account debit to bank. And what is this amount? It's actually the 10,000 which is extra into 105 which is 1 lakh 50,000, which is 10 lakh 50,000, which is 10 lakh 50,000. So first entry on receipt of money on allotment of debentures and on refund. On receipt of money, on allotment of debentures and the next last one is on refund. 
Let us consider another example. A company issued a prospectus inviting the public to subscribe to its issue of 50,000 debentures of 100 each at a discount of 10%. In this case again, the entry would be bank account debit. The amount received is only 50,000 into 90 because a 100 rupee debenture was issued at 10% less or 10 rupees less. So we would get not 50 lakhs but only 45 lakhs. Discount on issue of debentures would be the loss debit for 5 lakhs. But debentures would be credited with full 50 lakhs. This is the effect final effect of the entry. Actually, when money comes in, we would say bank account debit to debenture application. And from the debenture application account, we could say debenture application account debit 45 lakh, discount on issue of debentures debit 5 lakh to debentures 50 lakhs. Let us now consider issue of debentures where they are redeemed at a premium. So here we have a case where XYZ Limited issued 10,000 6% debentures of rupees 100 each, redeemable at a premium of 10%. Here the entry is bank account debit, the normal entry, bank account debit, 10,000 debentures of 100 each or 10 lakh. It's issued at par. So, bank account debit is 10 lakh. The normal entry would be 26% debentures with the face value 10 lakh. But since they are going to be redeemed at a premium of 10%, we need to account for that loss and the entry would be loss or discount. One and same we call it loss on issue of debentures account debit. an amount of 10% that is 1 lakh to premium on redemption of debentures. This would be the entry bank account debit 10 lakh loss on issue of debentures account debit 1 lakh to 6% debentures 10 lakh to premium on redemption of debentures 1 lakh. Like I said before, this is a liability account. The premium on redemption of debentures is a liability account and it is a personal account. The loss on issue of debentures account is a capital loss account. It is a capital loss account and will be written off over the life of the debentures. Let us consider yet another example where the debentures are issued at a discount but redeemable at a premium. 10,000 debentures, 100 each at a discount of 5%, but they are redeemable at a premium of 10%. Here, let us just understand face value of debentures is 10 lakhs. The discount on issue, discount on issue is 5% or 50,000. But they are redeemable at a premium of 10%. So the premium on redemption is 10% of face value that is 1. Both the discount on issue and premium on redemption, they are both losses and they would be debited under one head which is called loss or we may call it discount any one on issue of debentures.
so the entry for this if i continue by passing the normal entry and then putting the additional entry would be like this bank account debit we get only 950000 discount or loss on issue account debit discount or loss on issue of debentures account debit this would be an amount of 50000 Two debentures, six percent debentures, ten lakhs. For the loss, we would again say loss account debit one lakh. So fifty thousand plus one lakh. We can straight away write one lakh fifty thousand discount or loss on issue of debentures one lakh fifty thousand two premium on. redemption of the ventures 1 lakh so 9 lakh 50 plus 1 lakh 50 on the debit side bank account received 9 lakh 50 discount or loss on issue of the ventures account debit 1 lakh 50 on the other side on the credit side to 6% debentures 10 lakh to premium on redemption of the ventures 1 lakh 1 lakh <clears throat> one more example where the ventures are issued at a premium and redeemable at a premium the entry here is bank account debit again it is 10000 debentures issued at a premium of 5% so bank account debit would be 10 lakhs plus 5% therefore 10 lakh 50000 to 6% debentures is 10 lakhs to securities premium would be 50000 but then there is also redeemable at premium or a loss on issue of debentures loss on issue of debentures this would be debited with 1 lakh since they are redeemable at a premium of 1 lakh to premium on to premium on redemption of debentures however since this is an item of capital loss and this is an item of capital profit one may be set off against the other the entry in that case would be security premium account debit security premium account debit to loss on issue of debentures with the lower amount that is 50000 We've thus covered accounting entries in case debentures were issued at par, premium, or discount, whether they are redeemable at par, premium, or discount.